<laughs> All right. Anyways, talking to Reddit, the teacher who remained anonymous explained that one of her pupils had been nervously asking her where the elf toys had not received one yet, but when the young kids heard the truth about the toys, he spread the news around the class, and one mom was not happy with what was said. In the post, the teacher explained, I'm a private tutor and teach a fourth grader who has a lot of anxiety. He randomly brought up Elf on the Shelf and started frantically asking, asking me where it came from and if I had one. I told him I didn't have one and he told me he didn't, but he didn't know why because he celebrates Christmas. The woman went on to tell the child that different families have different traditions, so maybe he did not have one as it was not his family's tradition. The question did not end there. She said, he asked me where the elf came from. And I told him families bought the doll at the store. He looked shocked and a friend told him the elf was real and came when he believed in Santa. I don't have kids, so I didn't realize that kids, especially 19 years old, thought it was real. Hmm. 19 years old? 19 years old? Yeah, 9 to 10 years old. Oh, 9 to 10. I just said 19 years old. Yeah, he's 19 years old, so I had an elf on the shelf. Where's my elf on the shelf, Mom? Well, oh, I tell you something, too. Uh, every year, my parents used to buy me something for Christmas. I can't remember. I, I might want to say the Lifesavers. That was it. It was the Lifesavers. Mm -hmm. And when I got older, not getting one was like really weird. <laughs> Cause they, they used to sell these lifesaver packs and they look like chimneys. Okay. And you open up and there would be a lifesaver, different colored lifesaver in them. And kind of like an advent calendar, except for you give it on Christmas day. Cause lifesavers last for a long time. So, um, I used to, and then when you got older and like, you don't get one, you're like, wait a minute, why didn't you get a lifesaver? Oh, that's right. I'm 18 and out of the house. <laughs> that's why. Yeah, that would, that would do it. All right. Where, where was it? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So the elf on the shelf. I don't think the teacher meant to spill the beans. It sounds like. And I'm not blaming her, but I think you, I think somehow, I don't know. I just don't know. Do you divert the attention to something else? Or how do you handle the situation? I mean, if the child doesn't stop asking, what are you supposed to do? So you would have spelled the beans? Yeah, because if, it, if I tried to divert it, <clears throat> Three times and it still doesn't work. I'm telling them. You're telling if it was like three times. And then try to like tell you go play them time and you say like, oh, uh, why don't you have an elf on the shelf? Elf on the shelf ain't real good. Get your life together. Come on. <laughs> and that's between yeah. you and your mama, not me. <clears throat> if she wants to save it, she can save it. If she doesn't. Probably, I guess, I guess I would say is like, you need to go talk to your mom about that. <laughs> I mean, if you're a teacher and you're with them all day and they won't stop asking. Yeah. I don't like you can do. If they keep on begging you and begging you. Of course, this, this sounds like a kid who was special needs and the way they were describing him, right? Because he had this extreme anxiety. So I think he was like slow and she's a private tutor, right? So that kid needed special attention. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's just like part of me is one thing is the kids, the parents don't get involved with kids hardly anymore. So mm -hmm. that's an issue as well. They like, they like, well, what do you expect when you just turn them over to somebody else? You know, it's like because we're not talking about just, yeah, she's a teacher in front of a school, but she's also privately tutoring on the side. And the question goes, mind, does this kid see this teacher more than they see their mother? Then technically they really become a part of the family. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's kind of crazy, but that's the way it is. I mean, see, that's the whole thing. Reason why I didn't, you know, like I dated teachers and I ain't gonna lie when I got out of high school. Okay. But, um, when, you know, and they get, 
they get mad at me teachers would like how you don't think my job's important blah 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 well the reason is it's not like you know some people's lives were affected by their teachers you know it's like comedians all the time well my teacher encouraged me to be a comedy act or whatever blah 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 or take to encourage me to be acting I, I I guess I was when I was really, really young, but later in my life, you know, I, I think, um, you know, like, you know, like Sergeant AJ and uh, from the National Guard, he was a big influence in my life, you know, and those people become like a father figure to you, you know what I'm saying? And when that happens, yeah, I can understand, but some of these people's, their lives are affected because of they got good teachers or bad teachers, you know, and that's the uh, way it is, you know. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. It's like, uh, yeah, you, you got a point there. And to me, like I said, it sounds to me like she really didn't want to be put in this position, but it kind of was she's kind of forced into it it was like there really wasn't much she could do you know sounds like mm -hmm. it. yeah so you would have spilled the beans spilled them all. all right let me ask you sierra where do elves on the shelves come from um the store the store okay mm -hmm. and mom and daddy they want the position them they, they, they buy them. Did you ever have Alpha and Shelf in your family? Uh -oh. Neither have I. No. Nope. Never believed in Santa either. Who's your daddy?